to start off with I'll just start with y equals x right here you can see that this is y equals x when you uh, add the zeros and multiply the ones and everything it's just f of x is equal to x but basically this is a transformation applet meaning you have sliders a b c and d and when you change them then the value the new value of the letter a b c or d will be in the function name up here in this tan box in addition I have a zoom button here when I click on this zoom when I was making these GeoGebra pages I actually had a lower screen resolution on my computer than when not and thus when you first get these click this zoom button and then whatever zoom that is it will pretty much fit to your screen when this is widescreen so to speak if you go to like on, on here I can show you if you go to view algebra you'll see the algebra toolbar and so on here I'll do the same thing but you just can't see it because it's off the screen but view algebra and it'll show this column of information when you press the zoom now it changes and it looks bad it, it, it doesn't look like perfect square grid lines but when you have everything X'd out and you have GeoGebra at, in full screen mode so to speak and then you press the zoom then the zoom should be good that's one thing to note about this and all other applets that they look similar another thing to note is that when I click on this function name just one time if I left click one time then all of the sliders and buttons and notes will all disappear just in case you want to make a graph with this or if you're going to be making textbook graphs with this or solutions of any type of form with these applets that I made maybe you want to hide all that and maybe you want to hide this function name as well but then if you want to hide the function name as well then you click anywhere on the function itself and then that disappears they will work the same for every single one of them so now if I click on the function again this reappears and if I click on this this all this reappears if you accidentally double click on this function name it's actually not a button it's a text box and thus you'll see here that this is text that you can change it's in latex format so in short if you accidentally double click it just press escape or cancel to get out of it so that you don't change anything Another thing to note is I mentioned this zoom button here. Like if I zoom out and I go over here, if I press the zoom, it will go back to the default good zoom. Another note here is just a note, it's not a button, is I ask you to press Command M for default zoom. This is for a Macintosh computer, but if you have a PC, you press Control instead of Command. Press Control M. When you press Control M, the zoom looks like this. This is basically the default. I'm not sure why they have the origin towards the left instead of in the middle, but that's okay. I have a custom zoom that has it pretty much center. That's one thing to note. Now, I told you about sliders A, B, C, and D. I told you about all those, and I'll show you um, just how cool these are with other more interesting functions. With these sliders, maybe you want to fine-tune it a little bit more and it's not so user friendly if you slide it might change the graph too much what you can do is just once you left click on a slider then press your left or right arrow key buttons on your keyboard then that will adjust it slowly very very slowly and controllably also here's a reset function button if you click that it'll reset values a b c and d and also the distance this just means that what if you want to shrink the line some or what if you want to make it bigger that's how you do it you simply drag this up and down and it will get bigger or smaller as you need it to be I press the reset button it will go back to the default length one last thing to mention is for those that do not like arrows on the X and Y axis or do not like this particular style of arrows for whatever reason what you can do is right click on the graph anywhere and go to graphics once you do that then it's right here it's with the triangle with the circle it's line style if you want to have no arrows at all you you choose this one the drop down box if you want it only on the right axis and the top axis you choose this one so like for example if I choose that then it'll only be that type of arrow on the right and top axes so that's y equals x and now we'll move on to y equals x squared